check this out. Now we got one column here, two, three. Now if we keep moving forward, we have five, and then we did 20 here. You can actually even add more columns to one single row, but I figured this was enough to prove the point and show you that having the ability to add, remove, and resize columns can really help you make your content look really nice on a page. So whether you just have a bunch of text like over here, or you have different elements like buttons or images, you know, using the columns can really help you separate the text and separate the images, separate all the elements on the page so you have a nice, clean, elegant looking page. All right, let's get into it. So let's start with adding columns. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. The first is if you hit the backslash and then we just start writing the number of columns you want. So you can do two, you can do three, you can do all the way up to five. So six and onwards, it actually doesn't let you do it from here, but you can do up to five columns. So you can just write the number. Uh, I'm just gonna do three here as an example, three, and then you just start writing columns and just hit enter when it pops up. Um, and then you can just put your text here and you see it'll stop it at a third of the width of the page. We add more text here, more text here. That's how you add columns the first way. So now the second way you can do it is if you have text or whatever element you have, let's say it's here, um, and then let's add another element here. Um, and then what we can do is basically just drag this to the side of this column where you see this uh, vertical line. Once you see this vertical blue highlighted line, that means you can drag and it'll add this to um, you know, the row that the other text is on. So boom, we're gonna do that. Let's say two is not enough. We need another column. We can basically go ahead and drag uh, on any of these. So basically you can drag it here, you can drag it here, you can drag it here. So that's how you add it. So those are the two ways we can add columns. Now, if we wanna move on to resizing columns, how we do that is we just hover over the space between the columns and you'll see this little gray line pops up, this little gray vertical line pops up and you can basically just drag it to where you want it to go. And so what you can do is, let's say for example, if this section is a lot shorter than the other sections, we can make it so that we basically have these sections be a little bit longer. And then this section in the middle is shorter. So that way it looks a little bit cleaner, looks a little bit nicer, and it still has that separation um, to kind of keep the blocks of text uh, distinguishable from one another. And just like with adding columns, you can do this with as many columns as you'd like. So you can see here, we have 20 columns here. You can still adjust this. Um, it doesn't really make a difference. If we do five columns, um, you know, you can adjust this here too. Um, there we go. Or you can do it four columns. It doesn't matter how many columns you have, you can adjust it. Uh, now moving on to removing columns. Let's say for example, this text block we had in the middle, uh, we no longer wanna have this in the middle, we wanna have this on a separate line. Uh, what we can do is just hover over to the left side where we see the plus and these six dots. We click on the six dots and we drag and we just bring it down under. So this will create the separate line here and you can drag it to wherever you want. You can go here, you can add it to another uh, set of columns here. So it'll add it to this and turn it into four columns. Um, and then we can basically move this uh, back down here. So that's how you actually remove columns without deleting the text. Of course, you can always just delete the entire um, section if you want, and it'll turn it to just what you had. And that's pretty much it. Hope this helps you in creating nice and elegant Notion pages.